Hey everybody, my name is Corian, and today we're going to be taking a look at our brand new floor plan, the Sabre 37 FLL. This floor plan up front looks very similar to our 37 FLH, but it's a little bit different once you go on back because this one's more tailored towards families. You get a big overhead loft that's designated for sleeping and it's got some storage area up there, USB connectivity, power, you got it all. And there's also a storage loft that goes over the half bathroom where the first fifth wheel to incorporate a double storage loft, much like you see in destination trailers. You also get this front living room up here that's great for entertaining, lots of sleeping. You can pull these sofas out, sleep a lot of people up here. And down below in the kitchen, you get a ton of countertop space, ton of storage, big fridge. So let's get into it. In the front of the 37 FLL, you have the familiar front living room where you can seat a lot of people, entertain. Big TV, USB ports on both sides of it. Big fireplace that'll heat this whole coach. You have the nice ambiance lighting that runs overhead and along the coach. Down below here is the sofa that pulls out into a bed. That's the first of two. I'll bring you in here to the zebra shades. So right now it's letting in a little bit of light and I can play with this shade to black it out. So you can mess with those and let in as much or as little light as you want. Then you have the Cinemax style seating so you can fully recline in those very comfortable and then you have the second set of the sleeper sofa over here so i'll pull these out for you real quick and show you what those look like now i have both sofas pulled out and you can see what it looks like when they're out can't really get in between them but you can still sleep four people up here so it's really handy that they'll pull out for you Come on down into the kitchen first off you'll notice that on the counter we recessed the countertop to the right so you're going to be able to fit three bar stools under here you also have a little bit of extra storage down there. Keep on going down. You have a big fridge, a little corner pantry there, four person dinette. And then over here is the breakfast bar slash extra pantry. So you got that pantry on the left, the breakfast bar for a little more counter space. And you have your control panel cluster over here as well. So we tightened it up this year. It's all in one place. You have the LCI one controller right here. That will control your lights, the slides, awnings, and auto leveling. You can also connect that to your smartphone, your thermostat for your 15K ACs that we equip on the Sabres, your voltage meter that is a part of the juice pack option. Most Sabre dealers equip Sabres with the juice pack option, which is a 50 watt solar panel that's roof mounted. You get a 12 volt battery from the factory, that voltage meter, as well as a charge controller. Then you have some switches for your water heater, water pump, as well as some lights and tank indicators. Moving along, we'll get into that chef's kitchen. So you have a ton of storage there down below. Big farm style deep basin sink, a lot of countertop storage, a lot of overhead storage, big microwave, and you also have campsite windows. So you're gonna be able to keep a track on maybe the kiddos, you have people outside, you'll be able to see your campsite. Heading on back, you see there's a loft that goes overhead this bathroom. But first I'll show you inside the bathroom. As I pan up, you'll see we use a porcelain toilet. You have a little storage under the sink, a big deep sink, storage on either side of it for toothbrushes, hairbrushes, big tall shower, and a medicine cabinet off to the side. Now we'll take a look at the main feature of this fifth wheel, which is the loft aspect. So you get the first one, which is a storage loft. A little storage going upstairs. There's a better look at that storage loft. And then over to the right, you are gonna have the main loft. So this one is about twice as deep as that other one, so you can not bonk your head quite so easily. You have a little bookcase back there you can set things on, USB ports, electrical, you got 110. Awesome area for the kids or maybe even grown adults to hang out. Last but not least is the master suite. So you get a big king bed. Plenty of space on either side of the bed for a CPAP, tablet, Kindle, phone, whatever you want to toss over there. Storage up above. Then you have a wardrobe slide. You put a ton of stuff in there and a full length mirror. And I'll show you what's behind that mirror real quick. Behind that mirror is extra storage or washer dryer prep if you choose to put a combo unit in there. On the exterior, we've got a few things going on up front. As you'll see, your spare tire is housed up in the front compartment as well as the inverter, space for two batteries. You have controls for your auto leveling system and docking lights. 
And then on the side, you have your front storage area that'll open up real quick. You'll see that it's nice and deep. You have lights so you can see stuff at night. You have a leash latch over on the side for your pets. You can tie them up there. More eyed stable steps. And then you have a completely unobstructed awning area with an outside kitchen underneath. It's a little small fridge, two burners, a slot pan, LP quick connect down below as well. Also important is that we fully vacuum bond all of our slide walls and slide boxes. And they're also two inches thick for extra insulation. On the back here is your rear ladder rated for 300 pounds for your fully walkable roof and backup camera prep up there above. Now we're going around to the side. You'll see that we use 50 amp service right here on all of our Sabres. And all of our slide systems are going to be on the rack and pinion system. We'll never use cable slides. We'll either use this rack and pinion system or the Schwintec slides on our sofa slides. You have 15 inch steel belt tires, 7,000 pound axles, welded I-beam frame. The underbelly is totally heated and enclosed. Last but not least, you have your 10 gallon water heater over here. Docking station where you have your outside shower, all your water hookups are in there, cable, it's all easy to get to.